Starting as a florist, I started in 1988, and there wasn't, there was very little collaboration. You know, florists wouldn't really share their secrets with anybody, and, and there was no internet to go and kind of find out what other people were doing. Somebody came up to me today, and she's, a, she's an incredible florist in our area, and she was in tears. She says, I've been angry, I've been tired, I've been frustrated, I'm working my rear off, I have no, I have no break. We're all just workings and we don't get a chance to do what we like to do. So we kept saying, well what if you guys just go cut a whole bunch of flowers and bring them in and we just get to make stuff. My role in all this is to try to keep things moving and organized as a wedding planner, that's kind of what I do. But I'm also huge into what everything looks like and that's why I love flowers so much and respect everything you do. I've tried to come up with three different concepts for your team. So you have a card which has the itinerary on it on the other side. So it'll say team A, B, or C. We wanted it to be something where you guys get away from your mom life, from your work life, from all of the normal everyday stuff and come just remember why you started doing this in the first place. When you give someone else courage to do something or give part of what you know, it's an amazing feeling and it changes you. This design sanctuary, the purpose is to bring people back to why they do this. It's certainly not to be rich because there's so many other jobs you could do and make money. So come back to really realize you are an artist and you do love what you're doing. And I think that's the goal of Design Sanctuary. together the palette and the flowers that I love and, and just start to create and not think about it. That's my choice.